Welcome back to the range. Today is Thumper Thursday, the best day of the month, uh, the third Thursday of the month. So what we have here is a very special firearm. Now, y'all probably already know what that means. Yes, this was my grandfather's. Uh, this is a Marlin 3360S. It is chambered in a sweet little caliber called a 35 Remington. Hopefully that's clear. Uh, today we're going to be shooting some Remington, uh, these Remington core locks, uh, 200 grain soft points. We'll throw them over there on the tailgate. So we got a few of them loaded up in here right now. Uh, fixing to put one in the chamber and, and go to town. Now I did take one preliminary shot just to get an idea where this thing is shooting. Uh, because if you'll take a gander here, my grandfather was kind of funny about, he always wanted to make the, the sights and all a little bit better to see because he was getting old and couldn't see real well. But, uh, Here's the reality. This thing shoots about, let's see, I was shooting at the, at the gong target from here, and it shoots about four inches to the right. So today's little project, what we're trying to do on Thumper Thursday, not only to introduce y'all to the 35 Remington, but we're gonna look at how these jugs, these water bottles react differently. Typically, when people shoot stuff, they stand them up. Well, today we're gonna actually lay them down. We're gonna shoot one standing up as a baseline, right? Then we're gonna to try to put one right down the bottle cap, and then we're gonna to try to put one right up the, the bottom of it and see what that looks like a little bit different. So, are y'all ready to do this? Cause I am. Boy, I talk fast. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got to turn the camera on over here and anyway got a new bottle in so let's start over baseline got some slow-mo somewhat slow-mo and uh let's try that one more time then we're just going to run through them I got it figured out. Let's see, somewhere about right. <laughs> All right, let's see if I even hit the bottle cap. Now let's see if I can put one right up the bottle cap. Let's try that. Oh yeah, that's one that went straight down the neck. Check that out. I think anyway, I mean the way it's rolled back right there. Trying to do forensics of three different bottles. This is <laughs> slightly complicated. Okay, that one has pink water in it or red water. So I ought to be able to figure that out. That was the first one. Okay, so that's the first one that was standing up right down the middle. And this one was... I should have done all different colors. Okay, there's the entrance wound on it. Maybe the uh, slow-mo will reveal a little bit to us. But right now, I can't really tell where, but look at the way these just got completely from the ends. Let's, let's check out the slow-mo one more time. All right, so I start digging around into the berm, and I found one of the uh, one of the chunks of lead. Next up, we're going to go shooting gallery style. I'm going to see if I can channel my inner Wild West, my like my Wild Bill or whatever, and see if I can uh, clear this. I got five rounds. Uh, let's do this. This ought to be fun. Here we go. 
starting at the back, moving front. I did it again. Guard. Safety, work. Go. <laughs> Oh man, this is good stuff. So this little rifle is sweet. <laughs> Go! This thing has me giggling like, uh, like I don't know, like just this, this got me, it's got me giggling like a grown man holding a lever action. This thing is so much fun. Uh, I don't know if you noticed just then, but every time I'd pause on a shot, it's because, you know, being that this was the tactical rifle of the 1880s or whatever, uh, every time I'd go to shoot, I'd put my hand over it like I do when I'm holding the AR. And well, as a result, I couldn't see my sight. So I'd have to constantly bring it down. But golly this thing is an absolute joy to shoot uh it's just just a beautiful little rifle granted you know it's got some memories and stuff it needs to be cleaned up i'm probably going to leave it i wouldn't necessarily say a purist and leave it all wood and um yeah, i got a little picatinny up here on top i kind of want to put a a red dot like a little low profile uh, sig romeo i have one of those I, I may put it on here for another video but I gotta figure out how to adjust these little dovetail sights. I think they just have to be tapped over. But I'm really like every single one of those targets I just shot, I was literally shooting off the side of it by about an inch in order for it to hit in the middle of the target. But man, this thing is fun. That that Remington, that 35 Remington is, I would classify it as a thumper, a 200 grain soft point. You know, it 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 did a number. But about four about 40 yards. I'm wondering if I can shoot that pistol target with these soft points and not mess it up. So I want to try it. <laughs> Safety this time. Don't put your finger over the top, bitches. Here we go, going for the bottom right. That hit hard. <laughs> Let's see how bad I messed it up. Yeah, I'd say, uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I kind of messed it up. <laughs> Oops. All right, I'll probably take that home and hammer it back out. Okay, this is definitely a pistol tree, not a uh, rifle. Even a, even a heavy, slow, big bore from 40 yards away. Man, oops. <laughs> well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Thumper Thursday. This is kind of the old West shooting gallery one. This was a lot of fun. I thank you for joining me on this adventure, and I hope to see you on the next one. Hey, my name's Nomad, and you're watching Nomad's Adventures. Hey, everybody, it's Nomad on Nomad's Adventures. That is pure enjoyment right there. Thank y'all for joining me on this adventure, and I'll see y'all on the next one.